Teddy Bruski, Darren Woodson, Dan Graziano. I'm Wendy Nix from NFL Live. Look, there's a lot of different ways to measure commitment. Dollars is among them. Uh, but when you when you survey the landscape, and Dan, I know you've wrote you've written about this this week. What team, in your estimation, is the most committed? to their starting quarterback. I was just looking at the contracts and and right at the top the one that stood out to me was Matt Ryan that he signed last year with the Falcons. Mm -hmm. There have been guys that have passed him in terms of average salary since then. But when you look at the structure of that deal he's got twenty and a half million dollars committed uh, guaranteed this year and another five million of his salary guaranteed in twenty twenty one. So he's almost I'm sorry that's that twenty point five guaranteed in twenty twenty mm -hmm. and five million guaranteed in twenty twenty one. So he's almost guaranteed to play three more years as the quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. That's a pretty good structure in terms of how it holds up and what it commits the team to. They wanted to cut him after this year. It'd be sixty nine wow. million dollars wow. in dead yeah. money. So yeah, that yeah it's uh, yeah, that's <laughs> not pretty well locked yeah. in. I would say Aaron Rodgers and, and I yeah. can't speak to the contract yeah, like, you know I haven't de a good dove that deep in there but Aaron Rodgers is a guy you just watch what they've done around in Green Bay you know since Brett Favre they've always wanted that franchise quarterback so who do they bring on in Aaron Rodgers to sit back behind Brett Favre and now he's the guy and when you talk about quarterbacks throughout the league you ask any quarterback in the league they'll say that guy is Aaron Rodgers and I it looks like the Green Bay Packers have firmly embraced themselves around him. Well, and regardless of how you think Mike McCarthy departed and all of that, they yeah. did they did sort of say, this is our quarterback. He's, you know, exactly. he's our guy. You guys work with this. Yeah. You work around it. Yeah, I'll go to Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson just mm -hmm. got the big quarterback. A lot of money involved in that. But he, they're bringing in receivers. They're drafting DK Metcalf, those type of players. And they're letting... They're letting leadership go. I mean, since all of the Legion of Boom is now gone, all that leadership's gone. Doug Baldwin is now gone. He is retired. But they're comfortable because they have Russell. And Russell, the one, is the, is the key that drives that engine. He's the one that will keep it all going. They have faith in him. Mm -hmm. They have Russell, so they feel good. They locked him in with that contract. Yeah. Seattle. A lot of security there. Yeah, it was between Ryan and Wilson for the top spot. The, w the one point I wanted to make in the story was Wilson has no money guaranteed after this year. The way Seattle does their contracts, it's year-to-year -year guarantees. So uh, he's got nothing guaranteed after this year. Of course, he did get a $65 million signing bonus. Help. So, so we're not going to cry for him. If they <laughs> no. cut him after this year, they'd have paid him $70 million for yeah, one, one year. year. That keeps yeah. you pretty safe. Listen, if you look across the league, it, you know, I mean, Jacksonville jumps out as a team that improved its quarterback situation. Anybody improved their QB situation more in the offseason? Jacksonville? That's no, a I huge so. I mean, that's, that's me. a big one, I mean, you not, think, anyway. Not only on paper. in terms of performance, t efficiency, you know, third down efficiency, those type of things like that, but just the way your overall team now looks at your offensive unit. I mean, you could almost see, I, I mean, as defensive players, we could feel, I mean, frustration in terms of, man, can we just put maybe 20 points on the board consistently, yeah. consistently every single week? We could do well. So that type of faith your defense now has that you have a quarterback that's a former Super Bowl MVP, yeah. your morale is just boosted. And that's from it. The, the confidence that he brings, that Nick Foles brings to that locker room is going to be tremendous. And this is a, a still a, a young team that has a lot of good personnel that can still play at a high level. And Foles can convert on third downs and simple passes. I mean, just making yeah. the plays that's, that's right in front of him. I think those. I think it'll speak volumes to how he moves on with this football team. Just not turn it over. Don't He's turn it over. Yeah, don't, what they had, don't be but, a yeah, I'd give Jacksonville the edge. Denver was the other one that acquired a Super Bowl MVP yeah. quarterback this year. But I would give Foles' success is more recent, and I think you feel more optimistic about what he can yeah. do in Jacksonville with the group around him than, than Joe Flacco in Denver. Of course, we don't know about the rookies. But, yeah, I think Jacksonville We don't know about the, the rookies, answer. but we're going to save that for another day. Too much quarterback talk for these two. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Let's not, let's not overwhelm them right now in May. <laughs>